What's up guys? My name is Gloria and today I'm going to show you how to make banana nut pancakes. <laughs> So the first thing we want to do is we want to combine one and a half cups of flour into a bowl. There we go. And to that we want to add a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. There we go. And we just want to mix that all up. All right, I have this for a reason. There we go. Now that that's all combined and mixed up, we're going to put that to the side grab two bananas, heck yeah, and we're going to take the bowl that we had our flour in and we're just going to mash the bananas in there. There we go. Now that we have our banana paste-ish, we're just gonna put that aside too. And now we're gonna make a well in the center or just like a hole, I guess. Where are my towels? What's going on? Now you want to add a cup and a quarter of milk all in there. Uh, three tablespoons of butter. One egg, I have it here, I still need to crack it. Crack it into here, so then I can throw this in there. No shells, cool. And our banana mixture. Banana, just mashed up bananas, basically. And we're just gonna mix this up until it's really smooth. Now it won't be like completely smooth because of the bananas, so you don't need to worry about that. Even though like two seconds ago I did just say until it's completely smooth, but don't worry about it. Scratch that. Never mind. Uh, until it's all combined and there aren't like as many flour lumps. The rest will cook out, but you know, just until everything's combined. Now to this we're going to add. I'm gonna say this is about a quarter. Oh, okay. Uh, three tablespoons worth of walnuts. You could also add pecans. Uh, walnuts and bananas go together well, so do walnuts and pecans. I'm pretty sure those are the only two that you would like in a pancake. I'm not sure though. It's really up to you, any type of nut. I just wanna mix that up a little bit. And here's our pancake mix. Now, I have a skillet over here you could also do this on a pan hence the name pancakes but i have a skillet and i'm gonna take some butter piece off okay i got about a tablespoon of butter and i'm just gonna place it on our skillet that is preheated to 300 degrees just gonna spread that around the butter is here so our pancakes won't stick and also so they turn golden brown there we go now uh, i have a three quarter no three a third of a cup, I don't know why I was stuck on three, a third of a cup uh, measuring spoon here and <laughs> I'm just gonna spoon it onto our griddle. So now we're going to leave these until a lot of bubbles come up onto the top. Our pancakes are ready to flip. So I'm just going to take this one. Please, 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 yay! It's a little under, but it's fine. Oh, look how fluffy they are. Wow, go me, okay? I amaze myself sometimes. So. Um, while these are finishing up, I'm gonna take a knife and just spread a little bit over each one. Now we can plate, finally. I'm gonna put this one on the bottom. Okay, there we go, that looks a little better. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Cool, I'm gonna get the, um, the, the syrup so I can do the little pour thing. Oh my gosh, the nice is like the top is like really crispy. And then the middle and like bottom is like really, really soft. Wow. And a little swipe did do something because then it's like on the bottom of the pancakes. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm amazing. That's what I'm getting from this again. So we're good. So this these are really fluffy also. Definitely recommend making this recipe if you want to have like the best pancakes ever. And yeah. That's it. Cue outro that I already made before I tried the pancakes. 
Bye. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you really did enjoy it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.